I probably should have mentioned at the beginning of this video that this is a massive haul. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Unicorns and Typewriters. My name is Skylar and I'm back today with another exciting booktube video. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a very exciting holiday and December book haul. I'm excited to show you guys which books I've gotten so far. This is also kind of part one of my like December haul. Although usually I don't really get to do the second part until like the beginning of January. There will be another one coming soon, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, let's get started. <laughs> So jumping right into this very exciting book haul. Some of these books were gifts and some of these books I bought myself this December. I'm gonna start with a couple manga and graphic novel books that I got, but don't worry if you're not a fan of manga or graphic novels, that will just be the first two things that I mentioned in this video. And then there are a ton of other books I'm gonna talk about. So uh, keep watching if you're more into novels, I promise I'm getting there. So this is a series that I've just been collecting on my own and I've gotten quite a few books in it over the course of this month. I have added to my stack of books and almost completed my collection of the manga series Monster. These are all part of a like psychological thriller horror uh, manga series and also was turned into an anime at one point as well. The anime is extremely difficult to find and the manga is getting a little hard to find as well, um, which is why I decided to obtain the books before they are even harder to find. But I've wanted to read this series for a really, really long time. If you have read it, please let me know below in the comments because I'd love to hear someone's opinion who has read this, but please no spoilers. I have watched a little bit of the anime, which I ended up finding on YouTube, and that's how I got introduced to the series. The anime just pulled me in and intrigued me so much. My basic understanding is that it is a, a series about a doctor. Um, I believe that is him pictured right here. It's about this doctor who saves the life of two children. And it turns out that one of the children that he saved is a total like murdering psychopath. So it brings up a lot of moral questions of like, by saving a monster, did he doom other people? And is the doctor responsible for that? So that is where I believe the title monster comes from because it is about this concept of like, who is the real monster? So it is definitely a creepy series. From what I saw of the anime, it really got under my skin and that's why I have not been able to forget about it. Um, like I said, the anime, I just watched some episodes on YouTube. They were really poor quality. It's extremely difficult to find the anime. I think it's available on some streaming services in some countries, but it doesn't seem to be available anywhere in the States. I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, if you like creepy, scary manga or anime, it might be something worth looking into. I know I'm really excited to read it and I'm trying to get all the books in the series before I get started because I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to put it down because that was my experience with the anime, which I only stopped watching because of how poor the quality was and decided it was better to try to read the manga at some point. I got four books in the series and I recently picked them up and I'm very excited to get reading the series as soon as I'm able to complete it. So the next book that I got, this one was a gift. Um, I asked for this for the holidays and I'm so excited to have it. It is the fourth novel or graphic novel in the Heartstopper series by Alice Oseman or Osman. I'm so excited. This is the British edition actually, which I believe the author herself, she is British. So the books come out in England first. And I have all the American editions for the other versions, but I couldn't wait for this one. So I told the person to get it for me from Book Depository. I've never ordered from Book Depository before, but there was this and another book that I asked for that I wanted specifically British editions of. I have not read it yet, but it is definitely, I feel like this is gonna get read before the end of the year because these books are just so cute and so quick to read. 10 out of 10 recommend the Heartstopper series if you haven't checked it out yet. It's really cute. It's about two boys, Nick and Charlie, who basically fall in love, I think everyone knows. It's a really cute LGBTQ story 
and the world it takes place in is really cool because it's really positive toward diversity. There is some commentary on bullying and depression, which I also really like because um, when I first started reading, I thought this is so fluffy and so cute and it's still so lovable, but I started loving it even more when it got into those tougher topics because I think it is so important for everyone to discuss and talk about, especially books like these that are aimed toward young adults. Um, although I think a lot of people reading these are also in their 20s. I highly recommend really, really cute graphic novels. So there are actually two other books that I got as part of the same gift that also came from Book Depository. One is the American edition, so it's not that like special or anything, but the other one is a British edition. So these are two Ray Bradbury books. I am a Ray Bradbury sci-fi nerd. I have been since middle school when I read Fahrenheit 451. I've just read a lot of his other short stories and works and absolutely loved them. And I just think that he is a genius and just way ahead of his time on so many concepts. So I got The Halloween Tree. So I'm excited to read that. I absolutely love the cover. So this cover I think is just the American edition. It's pretty easy to find. And then the other book though that I'm like the most excited about honestly is Ray Bradbury's Something Wicked This Way Comes. So I've been wanting this book for so long. I've been wanting to read it for years. A couple years ago I went to see a play at a local theater house that was based on this book. And at first I felt bad going to see it because I was like, no, I've been meaning to read the book. I shouldn't go see the play. It's going to ruin the book for me. But I think it just made me want to read the book even more. The play was absolutely fantastic. I was so impressed. This is the British edition, which I love because I really, really don't like the American editions. I like the like old American edition. If I've been looking for it in thrift stores and used bookstores for so long, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't like the newer covers. I just, they're very graphic and bold. And I don't think it fits like the story and the vibes that I feel like come from this book. And I'm really excited to read more Ray Bradbury. The next book that I got as a gift as well, which I did ask for, was The Near Witch by V.E. Schwab. So I have been wanting to read this for such a long time. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I'm a big V.E. Schwab fan. I'm still reading some of her books that I already own, so I need to get on that. But this is an older book of hers, but I've heard great things about it and I really, really can't wait to read it so if you've read it let me know down below in the comments no spoilers but let me know what you thought and if it's worth the hype but either way i'm very excited to read it a book that i got myself because i'm obviously doing this in no order <laughs> at all so i've actually had this on my list of books that i want since last holiday season which is pretty bad i just couldn't wait any longer because i've been dying to read this book for a really long time and that is I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. I am so, so excited to read this. If you guys have been watching my channel as well for a while, you know that I am a fan of K-pop and K-dramas, which is Korean dramas or TV shows and Korean music. So this book is about a girl named Sky. She wants to be a K-pop star, but she also wants to be the first plus-sized K-pop star which I think is really cool. So it's got themes of body positivity, but at the same time, it also is supposed to have a lot of LGBTQ representation as well. So I'm really, really excited for that. Those two in combination, I think is really cool. Like I've read books that take place in Korea about Korean characters, about K-pop or having some themes about K-pop. Obviously I also read books with LGBTQ characters and I've read body positive books as well, but I've never read something with all of those things combined into one. This girl on the front cover, she is actually an actual like plus sized K-pop dancer, which I think is so cool. And I've been following her on Instagram for a while. Um, I love watching her dance videos and I just think she's really awesome. I cannot think of her name right now, but I will try to remember to either put it down below or link it somewhere up here where you guys can see because you should totally look her up on Instagram because her videos are just so much fun. So I thought it was really cool when I found out that she was like a real person who does real like K-pop dancing and not just like a random model or like I feel like a lot of um, these types of covers are also just like 
how do I say this? Like, it's just digital art. Like, it's not a real person. So I thought it was cool that she's real and this is like what she does too. I'm just really excited to have a really fun book because I've been reading a lot of really intense books lately and I think I kind of need a fun one. So I'm excited to get into this one soon. So this set I got as a gift and I am so excited to finally have this series. It is a duology that I've been wanting for a really long time. And I got the Villains Duology by V.E. Schwab. I purposely asked for this because I've been wanting it for a long time. It's still wrapped in plastic, but it comes with the paperback versions of Vicious and Vengeful. So I usually really do try to get hardbacks, but I already have the Shades of Magic series in paperback. So I feel like it'll be nice to have some other paperback books to put with my V. Schwab collection. And also like for some reason, her hardbacks are really, really expensive. And I don't know why. This one I got as a gift. And then I just bought myself because there was a really good sale going on at Barnes and Noble. I got myself extraordinary which is a graphic novel that goes with these it is a villain story and so this is the barnes and noble exclusive edition and i was going really back and forth on if i wanted this one or the owl crate exclusive or if i just wanted to get the regular edition because there are like so many editions that came out of this graphic novel but as it is, most of the others have kind of a red cover and this one's blue, which I like. I think it's a little different. Um, I guess the red kind of matches the other books better since they're like red and black, but I don't know. I just, I liked it. And I liked the idea that this exclusive edition um, comes with some bonus content, which I thought was cool. But what I didn't realize, so I thought that I was giving up getting a signed edition by getting this one instead of the Alcrate edition. And honestly, I really wanted the Alcrate edition, but my biggest problem right now with Alcrate is that even though I get the boxes, the shipping for like anything else is really bad. And I recently bought like a whole haul of Alcrate books and I just can't pay the shipping again from Alcrate this soon so i ended up getting this one for that reason but i did realize that along with these really pretty end papers <laughs> it actually is signed which i didn't even know i like went to open it and i was like is that real and then of course i like looked on the other side saw it like bleeding through and was like that's totally real i don't know if these end papers are exclusive or not but i was so excited and then i did see on here it says signed copy and bonus content i don't really feel like they said it on the website but yeah, the back is really cool as well. I don't know if the back is different on different editions, but it's just like, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm glad to have it. Maybe I'll get other editions if I really, really love it. But I think obviously I'm gonna read these first. I'm really excited to get into all of these. They go together, so that's really fun. I will definitely be letting you guys know what I think of them as I get reading. A another book that I got as a gift that I also asked for for the holiday season is six crimson cranes by elizabeth Lim. so i've been hearing absolutely great things about this book so i am so excited to read this one it's been on my list the back says a princess in exile a shape-shifting dragon six enchanted cranes and an unspeakable curse it will take more than magic to find their way home. It kind of gives me fairy tale vibes, which I love. Any story that has kind of dark fairy tale vibes is like, that's my jam. So I don't know a lot else about it. All I know is that people have been raving about it and I really can't wait to give this one a read. So the next book that I bought myself, <laughs> I got myself a copy of Any Way the Wind Blows by Rainbow Rowell, which is the third book in her like Simon Snow series. I think this is the final one. Yeah, because it says it's a trilogy. So I did also get the Barnes and Noble exclusive. It was on sale and I really wanted it because I just think the cover is prettier than the regular edition. And I think these books are so much fun. I think a lot of people take them too seriously. It is based off of basically like a Harry Potter fan fiction that, you know, takes place in one of her other books. And then she ended up writing this as its own story. But I think you just have to keep that in mind and have fun with it. And I've had no problem with the series so far. It's a really good LGBTQ representation story and it's really cute. It's got magic. The references that I can tell are kind of like relating to Harry Potter being kind of fan fiction-y or parody like for Harry Potter, I think are really funny and enjoyable. It's fun. I think it's just a really fun series and I'm really excited to get to read the final installment. So it's actually a little bittersweet, but I'm excited. 
The next book that I got, this book has also been on my list for such a long time. I've almost bought this book so many times. I've had it in my hand in so many stores and resisted the temptation. And I put it on my list of books that I wanted as gifts this year. So it was a gift. So I feel like my waiting on buying it like panned out for me that I got it as a gift instead of spending all my money on books, <laughs> which I've obviously done anyway. This one is Tokyo Ever After by Miko Jean, if I'm saying her name correctly. This is supposed to be kind of like a modern fairy tale. And I also have heard amazing things about it. It was in apparently in Reese's, uh, Reese Witherspoon's YA book club, which is interesting. It sounds like it's about a Japanese American girl. It sounds like it's a lot about her kind of figuring out like her own identity about being Japanese, also being American. And I'm really attracted to books that deal with that type of topic. Also being like a descendant of immigrants, it's something that really interests me, like how people feel about their roots in combination with being an American. So even when people are coming from different cultures, I just, I love that topic. And it's something that I definitely hope to write about one day myself. So yeah, I'm so excited to give this one a read. I've just heard such good things about it and I'm just, I'm really excited for it. The last book in my haul that I bought for myself is Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. And this is the second and I believe last book. It's book two in the These Violent Delights duet. This is the first book, These Violent Delights. And then the book, Our Violent Ends. When I saw this was coming out, I really wanted to try to read this one before the end of this year so I could read this one because this one just, just recently came out, I believe in the last month. But yeah, so I have just heard so many great things about this book. I'm so excited to read it. I still would love to read it before the end of this year. I just don't think it's realistic at this point. So maybe I'll start 2022 off with a bang by reading this series. And it's kind of nice to have the second book ready to go because I don't have to wait. I can just read them right in a row, which I hardly ever do. Even when I have books, even when I have a whole series, because I'm a mood reader, I just like read one and then read the next one like the next year, but I'm gonna try not to do that. It sounds like this story is pretty cool and intense and high action. So I feel like I will possibly want to read them both in a row. It is supposed to be like a, um, a version of like Romeo and Juliet that takes place in Hong Kong in China. So I think that's really cool and fascinating and just haven't heard of anything quite like it. And because of all the very positive good buzz that I've heard about it, I'm really excited. If you guys have finished this series already, let me know down below in the comments I would love to hear what you thought, but also, of course, no spoilers. <laughs> So yes, that is the conclusion to my book haul. These are some of my favorite types of videos to do. Hauls are just so much fun. They're so much fun to film. They're so much fun to watch. It's like being a child and getting to do show and tell when you get new toys again. Like, look what I got. <laughs> I will be back with another new booktube video soon. I do have my December owl crate on the way. Um, actually, I don't know that it's on the way yet, but it will be here at some point. So I will of course do a video of an unboxing for the December owl crate when that arrives. There will be another book haul. It will probably be a little smaller than this one, but there will be another book haul that I'll be doing either at the very end of this month or at the beginning of January. So keep an eye out for that. But either way, I'll be back with another new video soon. I hope you all are having a good holiday season and being easy on yourselves because Although the holidays are super fun, they can also be a really stressful time and really hard on some people's mental health. So self-care, do what you need to do for yourself and spend time with people that make you feel good about yourself as well. I will be back with another new video soon. Have a good rest of your week, everyone. Bye. Bye.